the atmosphere around Kinsale has been fantastic regarding the, the ladies footballers getting into the final this year. Like um, since we qualified just for the semi final there uh, three weeks ago, the town has gone into overdrive with colour and bunting and the business people have really gotten behind things, like the local people have gotten behind things and like they've really as you can see around the town, really stepped up to the mark like and have gotten behind these great group of girls that have been representing the town. The town the club is on a fantastic role at the moment. Like our underage is improving like um, as a, as a club we're all embracing we're a club of hurling, camogie, football, ladies football, you know, uh, adults, uh, kids, they're all in under the one umbrella in the club like and it has been really the making of the club really like, you know, having all these new people coming in into the town, getting involved in the club like and as a, as a community can say that you can't get anything better like than that. But it's, our ladies footballers have really brought the club to the fore like in the last few years like that have uh, been people that have been the greatest uh, ambassadors of the club going forward for the last uh, three or four years like you know you would hope that there's two evenly matched teams like and that they're going to be out to win we're going to be out to win they're going to have some great supporters up there like we're going to be taking bus loads up you know there'll be blue and white all around the stadium shouting on our team like and that's what we want to do like uh, support our girls in this uh, great occasion uh, for the club, for the town and for themselves. It's our first time we've ever represented Cork or Munster uh, in any competition, both ladies or men, and it's a great occasion for us. And the entire community has captured the uh, imagination it has captured the imagination of, of, of everyone, school children, everything. There are people that I never knew uh, that they were any interest in ladies football are coming up to me in the middle of the street and they're congratulating me and wishing us the best and they say, how do I get to the final and what time is it on and everything. So it, it just has taken off and that's the truth. And it was great now in the last month is that we had a marvellous week here. Uh, our intermediate hurlers won the county title for the first time in 132 years and the very next Saturday, we won the Munster title. So it couldn't be better, as it absolutely superb. The two ladies' trophies I showed you were the county trophy, uh, county junior A trophy that we won uh, a number of months ago, and the Munster trophy that we won there about three weeks ago. And as I said, again, the like of Kinsale won that trophy last year, went on to the All Ireland final, and are in the um, All Ireland Intermediate final this year. Moore Abbey have won it in the past. And they've in the senior final this year, which is great for Cork that the three um, clubs are in the uh, All Ireland finals. And uh, as I said, now this year we hope to be able to go on better than can say last year and push it over the line. Right, so we hope to be the first to bring the first title back to Cork uh, if we can. And we'll do our utmost. As I said, we'll be a young squad, but with plenty of experience. You win, lose or draw, ladies football is the winner in this one, right? And uh, there's no doubt about it that we, we will hope ahead it'll be on the winning side. But if we're not, it has been great to get to an All-Ireland final and we hope we'll do Cork, Munster and our parish proud. Well, more than we are a small, tightly lit community of 800 people in North Cork and uh, we've been in the last uh, four All-Ireland series. Uh, this is our fourth effort at attempting to win. We haven't succeeded in winning up to now. And uh, there's a great buzz about the place. Uh, we have uh, Ted Linehan, a great stalwart of our community, lost to us in recent times. He died in a tragic kayaking accident and uh, I suppose the place was in a, in a bad place and at a low ebb before the semi-final. We buried him the week of the semi the Ireland semi-final and I suppose we're hoping that the, the, the next Sunday will be the start of maybe somewhat of the healing process and uh, you know uh, getting over the absolute shock that uh, you know Ted's loss was to us. He's closely related to eight players in the team and uh, he's uh, you know he's gone and we're hoping maybe this you know he might look down on us and maybe show us a helping hand uh, on Sunday and uh, you know certainly his prayers will be out there doing the very best for him. Yeah well I've, I've two daughters involved and four nieces so yeah I've, I, I, and uh, I suppose you know in, in, in general then uh, the family have been kind of uh, you know in, uh, the wider family have been involved over many many years with the with the club and, and uh, you know they're, 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 they're looking forward to it uh, I suppose you know We've no doubt that Carnican are a very good team, the team we play against, they're, they're an excellent outfit. Uh, they have won many All-Irelands, we haven't won any, so they have won five and uh, you know they're entitled to, to be favourites to last year's All-Ireland winners. Dun & Moyne were beaten by St McCartans of Tyrone and uh, they beat St McCartans, uh, you know, by a big score in the semi-final. So they have earned the light to be favourites, the bookies have them favourites and rightly so, but look, you never know. You know, we're hoping that we might be able to, you know, take the ultimate step as well. Uh, yesterday, Dr. Crokes 
in Killarney, in played Nemo Rangers in Cork, and uh, they were strong favourites as well. So we're hoping maybe that we might be able to do Nemo in it at the weekend and that uh, you know, we might rise and, uh, and win. Uh, we certainly have experienced enough heartbreak anyway over the last four years and uh, we're hoping that you know, uh, maybe that the three years we've taken of it might be enough and that uh, you know, we might ultimately uh, cross the line on Sunday as winners and we take a po one point win any day.